Hi guys, good day, it's me, Teacher MJ. Our topic for today class, it's all about multiplication and division of rational numbers and we're focusing on decimals. So without further ado, let's do this topic. Now we will have two examples class in multiplying decimals and another two examples in dividing decimals. So let's start with example number one. Now to multiply decimals class, simply ignore the decimal point. Once again, simply ignore first the decimal point if you are multiplying decimals. So you think this one as 482 and then multiplied by 32. So once again, class, simply ignore first the decimal point. And then simply multiply the numbers, class. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 8 is 16. Carry 1. 4 times 2 is 8 plus 1 is 9. And then this one, 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 8 is 24. 4 carry 2. 3 times 4 is 12, plus 2 is 14. And then you add, bring down 4, 6 plus 6 is 12, 2, carry 1. 1 plus 9 is 10, plus 4 is 14, carry 1. 1 plus 4 is 5, copy 1. And then after that one class, you count the number of decimal places from our original given class. So count the number of decimal places, we have 1, 2, 3. Once again, count the number of decimal places or count the numbers class to the right of the decimal point. So we have right of the decimal point, we have 1, 2, then 3. Therefore, we need to have at least 3 numbers to the right of the decimal point from our answer. So 1, 2, 3. Therefore, this will be the decimal point. Simple as that class. And this will be our final answer class for example number 1. That would be 15.424. All set class for example number one. Simply count the number of decimal places. So one, two, three. Therefore, we need to have one, two, three, and this will be the decimal point. So three numbers to the right of the decimal point. One, two, the other one is one. So we have three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Decimal point is here. 15.424. That's it, class, for example number one. Easy, right? For this one. Alright, so let's proceed now to example number two. So once again, plus first ignore the decimal point. So simply write this one, 424 multiplied by 314. Alright, and then simply multiply plus 4 times 4 is 16, 6 carry 1, 4 times 2 is 8 plus 1 is 9, 4 times 4 is 16, so that will be 16, 1 times 4 is 4, 1 times 2 is 2, 1 times 4 is 4. And then last one, 3 times 4 is 12, 2, carry 1. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7. 3 times 4 is 12. Alright, and then add. So this is 6. 9 plus 4 is 13, 3, carry 1. 1 plus 6 is 7, plus 2 is 9, plus 9 is 11, 1, carry 1. 1 plus 1 is 2, plus... 4, that is 6, plus 7 is 13, carry 1. 1 plus 2 is 3, and then bring down 1. And then, once again, let's count the number from the right of the decimals. We have 1, 2, 3, then 4. Or count the number of decimal places. 1, 2, 3, then 4. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. This will be the decimal point. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. That's it. That's all set. This will be your answer class for example number 2. So 13.3136. All set class. Alright, so let's proceed now in dividing decimals. Alright, so let's proceed now in example number 3. We have given 12.6 divided by 0 0.3. So we can write this one 12.6 divided by 0 0.3. So once again, class, this is our dividend. This will be our divisor. Now, when you're dividing decimals, class, you need to make your divisor into a whole number. Once again, class, always remember that one. If you're dividing decimals, you need to make your divisor into a whole number. So this will be our divisor, 0 0.3. Now, to make this one into a whole number, simply move the decimal point left to right once. So once we move the decimal point left to right once, this becomes a whole number 3. Now, once you move the decimal point left to right once on our divisor, you also do that to the dividend. Left to right once. And this becomes 126. That's it, plus. And then simply divide. 12 divided by 3, that's 4. 
4 times 3 is 12. Subtract. 12 minus 12 is 0. Bring down 6. 6 divided by 3 is 2. 2 times 3 is 6. Subtract. That is 0. Therefore, class, our answer is 42. That's it, class. That's the answer for number 3, class. Is it right for number 3? So let's have example number 4, class, for you to really understand this one. So we have 7.868 divided by 0 0.14. So we can write this one 7.868 divided by 0 0.14. So once again, this will be our divisor. And we need to make this one into a whole number. So therefore, we need to move the decimal point left to right twice. 1, then 2. And this becomes 14. So therefore, we also move the decimal point from our dividend left to right twice. So 1, then 2. So therefore, our dividend will be so 7, 8, 6, point 8. The decimal point is in between 6 and 8. So 1, then 2. So the decimal point will be here. So 786.8. .8. And then you divide plus. So 78 divide 14. I think that's 5. So 14 times 5. Let's check. 5 times 4 is 20. Carry 2. 0 carry 2. 5 times 1 is 5. Plus 2 is 7. 70. So this will be 5. And then 5 times 14. That is 70. Subtract. 78 minus 70 that's 8 bring down 6 so 86 divided by 14 so I think that's 6 let's try it plus 6 14 times 6 6 times 4 is 24 4 carry 2 6 times 1 is 6 plus 2 is 8 84 so this will be 86 divided by 14 that is 6 and then 6 times 14 that's 84 Alright, and then 86 minus 84, that's 2. And then bring down 8, 28. Do not forget plus the decimal point. So we align the decimal point. Align the decimal point, this is 28. 28 divided by 14, that's 2. 2 times 14, that's 28. Subtract, that is 0. That's it plus. Your answer plus is 56.2. All set. For example, number 4. That's the thing that you, you will do, class. You need to make your divisor into a whole number. Alright, so that's it. I hope you learned something new today. So once again, class, you try this one. And you put your answer in the comment section down below for me to check, class, if you really understand our topic for today. So example number 1, 3.53 multiplied by 4.5. Give me the answer. And for number 2, 15.8. Divided, divided by 0 0.2. So you try to answer this one class manually without using the calculator. For me to check class if you really understand our topic for today. So once again, this is Teacher MJ. Have a great day class. Goodbye for now. Bye-bye.